Good evening, good evening, good evening. Today is still Thursday, October 3rd, 2024. I am back with another episode. And as always, as it always was, as it will always be, I'm grateful. Thank y'all for tuning in. You don't have to be here. You can be anywhere. Spend it right about now with all this BS going on in the world. You definitely ain't got to come here and hear me talk. So thank you. I appreciate that. And as I say a lot, if you've been following me for a while, you know I say this a lot. History repeats itself. And I'm a lover of classic music, old school music. I don't really like the new music nowadays. It just... Everybody sound the same. So I go back to the old school when I grew up, during my time, and listen to the music that they made back then that lives on. When I'm feeling down, depressed, sad, I've noticed, and I suggest y'all do the same thing if you love music, I've noticed that when I listen to some good music, it elevates my mood. You don't have to get high, you don't have to drink, you don't have to do none of that. I listen to some good music, it elevates my mood. It instantly makes me feel better, no matter what I'm going through. Sit in your car, in your room, what have you, find your favorite tune, have it already ready for when the downers hit you. Turn that music on and sit back and, and, and imagine a better time. Imagine you in a better place. Imagine things are better than what they are. Because with that imagination comes reality. If you can imagine it, if you can think it, you can achieve it. Look at me. So I always say history repeats itself, right? So the song I was listening to, sitting in my old school, doors closed, windows up, bass kicking, boom, 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 boom. I, see, I got all that loud music like I'm a teenager in my car. Cause it makes me feel good. It gets me high. A natural high. There really is a such thing as a natural high. And I'm living on a natural high. It's cheaper, peaceful, good for you. Everything you chasing to get high from the devil, God has a way for you to get high the right way. A way that won't hurt you. A way that won't have you homeless. A way that won't have you losing your family. It's called a natural high. Try it. And one of the ways I get naturally high is music. Big boy, you too young, you too old to have all that music in your car. See, I don't listen to I know what I'm doing. That's my high. I can go sit in my car and crank my music up and forget about whatever's going on. While somebody else somewhere smoking the pipe to forget about their problems, dr killing a bottle to forget about their problems, I'm listening to William Devon from 1974. That's speaking on what we got going on right now and what you need to do about it. If you're struggling right now and don't know what to do about it, I'm going to tell you what to do from the words of William Devon. I'm going to tell you how to get by through the times we're going through right now. The times where you may have lost your home, lost your wife, lost your husband, lost your family, lost everything. You may have just went through the hurricanes down there in North Carolina, what have you, in Florida, Georgia. Lost everything, but you're still alive. So I'm going to tell you what to do to feel better immediately, no matter what you got going on in your life. I'm going to tell you what you do to feel better like that, just that fast. William Devon, 1974. Be thankful. For what you got.
when you're looking around at what you just lost. As we talk about people sleeping in the cars right now, sleeping in the woods, having to move back in with your parents, you lost your home, or you never had a home in the beginning. Your credit score ain't good enough. You lost a job like me. I'm sitting here out of work. But I ain't homeless. I still got my little Toyota right here. Still got y'all. I can get on here and make my videos. I can go take my car and go to Instacart. Run some grocery. It was some good batches on the other day. Be thankful for what you got. I'm going to just give you the first bar or whatever they call it of that song. If you've never heard it before, you know the song, Diamond in the Back, Sun Rooftop, Digging the Scene with the Gangster Lean. Ooh, 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 I know that sound horrible. Diamond in the Back, Sun Rooftop, Digging the Scene with the Gangster Lean. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> if y'all can sing, help me out with that part right there. And it says, Though you may not have, a great big Cadillac. He said great big, but on the song he said great big. Though you may not have a great big Cadillac. Gangster white walls. TV antenna in the back. See, back in them days, that was it. You was on, you had a big Cadillac with the gangster white walls and the TV antenna in the back. That said you had a TV in your car. Back then, you had a TV in your car. Oh, my God. Gangster white wall. TV antenna in the back. You may not have a car at all. But remember, brothers and sisters, that ain't got to do with your race, white, black, green, Chinese, Hindu, whatever you is. Remember, brothers and sisters, that's all he said. He ain't said white folk, black folk, green folk. You can still stand tall. Just be thankful for what you got. I ain't got nothing, Big Ward. I'm going to be thankful for what I got when I ain't got nothing, Big Ward. You being able to say that means you got everything, which is your life. You being able to say you ain't got nothing says you have everything. Because if you ain't have nothing, you wouldn't be able to say that because you'll be dead. Let me repeat that. What am I be grateful for, Big Ward? I ain't got nothing. What am I be thankful for? Big Ward, I ain't got nothing. The song say, just be thankful for what you got. But how you gonna be thankful for what you got if you ain't got nothing? Not so fast, my friend. You being able to say that is saying you got all you need. You alive. And if you alive, no matter what you done lost, you can get back. If you're dead, dead folks ain't getting nothing back. People out here in Whispering Pines, they get nothing back. Somebody that just lost their job can get another job. Somebody that just lost their house, you can get another house. Hurricanes that came through like the Big Bad Wolf and blew your house down, you can get all that back because you're still alive. But it ain't going to be easy, but life ain't easy. Miss me with the easy. See, that's the problem with us now as Americans. We done got so far away from that greatest generation back in the day where they went through hard stuff like it wasn't nothing. We want it easy. So therefore, whatever ain't easy, we don't do. I'm chasing the hard stuff. I'm chasing the million subscribers on here. My own network TV show. 
and what not, whatever. That's hard. And I'm here for it. I don't want what's easy. Cause what life has showed me that what's easy ain't worth having. What's easy ain't what you want no way. Being 500 pounds, it's easy. But who in the hell want to be 500 pounds? Anybody can be 500 pounds with ease. Just eat. Anything that tastes good for you. All the ice cream and cake you want. All the hamburgers you want. All the fully loaded pizzas you want. That's easy. We love that. But you're going to end up 500 pounds. So therefore, what's easy ain't what you really want. What's worth having, it's going to take a little effort. Sometimes a lot of effort. But do it. So if you just have lost everything, yes, it's going to be hard. Because I did. I lost it. I was homeless. Homeless. To a boss. I'm not on here pretty much telling y'all what I got going on. I got this. I got that. Ain't nobody trying to hear all that. And I'm not stupid. But I'm going to tell you this. I ain't nowhere near where, how bad I was. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Big boy, you strong, though. Ain't, most people ain't strong as you. Man, I was one of the sorriest dudes on the planet. If not the sorriest. If I wasn't the sorriest dude on the planet, I was number two. And I was getting them a run for the championship. I didn't have the championship belt a time or two in my life, though. For the heavyweight champ, I'm sorry. Held my belt up high. I'm the champ. The champ is here. The champ of sorry. That was Big War. So don't come at me now. To my Big War, we ain't strong as you. I wasn't shit. I ain't scared to tell you. I'm proud to tell you because I ain't there no more. I'm proud to tell you because now I can tell you. You ain't got to be there if you there now. If you sitting up somewhere sorry here, I don't want to do nothing, ain't doing nothing, you can change that. It starts with you. One of the neighborhood kids. You can change that. Can't nobody else change that for you. You change this thing here, and you change this thing here. When you change this, you change that. Your reality. Your reality is a result of what's in here. You want it easy? It ain't worth having. You haven't figured that out by now? So therefore, the time we're living in right now, it's going to teach us a lot. Even though we're going through some rough, Terrible times right now, and it's going to get worse. It's still a silver lining in that cloud. These times we're going through right now going to teach us what we really needed and what we never, what we really didn't. There was a lot of things we thought we needed. We finna find out we didn't even need it at all. We was running around here killing ourselves, beating ourselves up because we didn't have it, hating ourselves because we didn't have this, that, and the other. The time we're living in now for the show us we never needed it in the first place. Cause now the majority of people are gonna lose all that stuff. And now we're gonna be left with what we needed. What we really needed was each other. We're gonna be forced. See the hate, it ain't gonna be able to stand. When you in battle, 
the old saying is, the enemy of my enemy becomes my friend. How would that saying go? Y'all heard that before. If you got the same enemy I got, that make us friends. And right now, the enemy we all have, I don't want, I ain't, in other words, I don't want to see it because they watching. Y'all know who they are. They watching. But now that's all of our enemy. We all got the same enemy, whether you know it or not. Whether you're Democrat or Republican. I'm trying to get y'all to wake up to that. You Democrats over there, scary. Talking shit about Republican, Republican talking is about Democrats. We got the same enemy. And for so long, that's how they stayed in power. Now we finna find out that if I don't depend on you and you don't depend on me, ain't none of us gonna make it. Ain't none of us gonna make it. Keep hating. You haters that hate me, you might end up one day needing me. I may end up one day needing you, but I don't hate you. I don't hate nobody. Now God has put us in the position. See, that's what's really going on. We finna find out as a species of the human race, we had got so far away, so far out there, from who and what we really needed, if it come full circle now. Now we're going to see what's really important and what's not. We're going to find out now what's really important, which has always been like this, but we just was blind to it. We chasing the American dream. Four, five bedroom home, pool in the back. Great big Cadillac. Gangster white wall. TV antenna in the back. We've been chasing that since we've been here. Now we're going to find out we didn't have to have that at all. We could have been at peace, enjoying life, not hating on each other, loving one another, not being jealous of the next man because he got something that he don't need, that you ain't got, that you don't need anyway. You hating on somebody for having something that don't damn one of y'all need. His car prettier than yours. So what? To sum it all up, fuck what you ain't got. Be thankful for what you do. Get it? Got it? Good. Bye.